My name is Chris. My name is Adam. And together we designed the new LEGO Batmobile. Well, the set is the 1989 version of the Batmobile, the one that was featured in the Tim Burton movie. It's probably the biggest LEGO car to date. We think it's going to stay the biggest one for quite a while. There were quite a few features that we wanted to include in the set. There's two weapons that pop up in the hood of the car, just like it does in the movie, where the kind of like top lids blow off. And we have the canopy that is actually tilted, but still moves forwards and backwards. We made a, a brand new front wheels for it because we wanted to make it to scale with the tumbler. And the rear wheels of the 1989 Batmobile are the same wheels that the tumbler uses in the front. So we made a completely new steering system so that actually moves the wheels out of the way so we could have real nice and tight wheel wheels. When we were developing this model, you know, there's a lot of other graphical details that we needed to have as well as the, the characters. So that's where we work with our graphic designers on the superheroes team, such as Joanna, who did a lot of work on this model. Actually, on this model, the, the model designers done an amazing job at capturing all the details. So we didn't really use a lot of stickers on the outside of the, of the model. We mainly focused on the, on the inside. So the hubcaps on the model are newly decorated. The cockpit, which is a new element, uh, we decided to decorate it just so we can get a more accurate uh, cockpit. It's quite heavily detailed. And also the steering wheel. It's a decorated element and it's accurate to the car in the movie. It's a big black thing, so to break it up we had to use some color on the inside. So basically the frame and the, the, the whole guts of the model are just an explosion of color and shapes. And if you look at the parts list by itself, it, it looks nothing like a car. The only giveaway is the wheels. Other than that, there's like literally nothing. You can see that we pushed the system to the limit and the bricks to the limit. There are three main figures going into this set. It's Batman, obviously, it's the Joker and Vicky Bell. All of these are new figures, they're exclusive. Batman comes with a, with a pretty cool cape and uh, Vicky Bell comes with a new torso printing, leg printing uh, and her camera. And obviously my favorite Joker, he has such an amazing print on torso and legs. Once we decided on what outfits they're, they're gonna wear, we have the reference and we try to translate that into Lego language. So we're trying to take those elements and tr transform them into minifigures and so like trying to bring minifigures to life. We made a new cowl and cape, so it looks just like how it did in the movie. And one of the fun things about that is in the movie, he was unable to turn his head left and right. The helmet was fixed to his shoulders, and just like the Lego version, because it's all one piece that slides over the minifig, he also can't turn left and right, so it's just like the movie. So the process for designing this model was to get every screenshot, watch the movie, any reference that we could get from different angles of the different details in the car. And then once we had the main shape locked out, because there was multiple of us working on this model, we kind of just started taking different sections and working on them at a time. So I remember I started on the very back and then from there I started working my way forward towards the front. And no, I did the exactly opposite. I yeah, started you started in the front on the and we met in the middle and I basically put the cockpit on top of it. We really spent a lot of time just like obsessing over every <laughs> detail and curve and iteration after iteration of is this better, is this better, and just constantly questioning everything we were doing. Well, it's the 1989 Tim Burton Batmobile. It's the one that redefined the whole genre. Before it was all wacky and not so serious, and then whatever happened after 1989, after the Tim Burton one, that's, that's what we know today. Like every single one that, that was since then is built up on that one single movie and on these designs. It's the first one to really have like the giant swept back wings and just having such an aggressive and mean shape. Is it even a car? Like it's so like revolutionary for its time too of like the design of it. the design language is just so unique and defining and it just screams Batman. You know, we both watched Batman, the TV show and the movies when we were kids. And so to be doing this now is just a dream come true.